Welcome to Kitchen Impossible. This is a brand new, really fun cooking show where I am being challenged to guess which dish I'm supposed to be creating from the ingredients laid in front of me. I haven't got a clue what's coming up. It's gonna be great fun. Hi, my name is Adam, I'm 21 years old and I'm a student originally from Middlesbrough and now living in London. The dish I'm going to be challenging Sarah to do today is a chicken parma. Welcome to Kitchen Impossible, Adam. Thank you for having me. What are you bringing us today? Uh, so I'm bringing you a northern dish, it's from Middlesbrough, okay. my hometown, um, and it's, it's quite... It's a dish that can be found in many places up north, so it can be found in takeaways, it can be found in the five-star restaurants, so it's very varied, okay. um, but it's, it's quite a simple dish, um, it's kind of treated as a northern kind of pizza, so whereas you guys down south may get the pizza when you go into the takeaway, we'd right. often go for this dish and get similar toppings on top of it. I'll tell you it's a chicken based dish. Oh, okay, good. So we've got chicken here. I've got chicken, yeah. I think chicken on the bone and chicken breast, so I can play about with that and yeah. how I think I'd use it. Lots of vegetables on show. Yeah, there is a lot of vegetables. It's not necessarily a vegetable dish, but do okay. feel free to use those if you okay. feel it's necessary. Okay. Um, use them in your own kind of way and like play about and see what see what happens. But yeah. it's not necessarily a vegetable oriented dish. Okay. Orientated. 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 That's the one. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking a pizza that's kind of chickeny. Yeah. Maybe with some veg. Mm -hmm. Um, this is going to be fun. Yeah. Give it a go, we'll see what happens. Yeah, good luck with it. Thank and I'll you. leave you to it. And Thanks, I'll Adam. To see the results. No pressure then. Okay, so looking at the ingredients I've got here, we, we've not talked about herbs and spices, and I've got loads of Indian herbs and spices, but we've touched on the fact that there's no sort of generic takeaway thing going on here. So where we've got Indians uh, and Turkish takeaways all over the country, this is something that isn't like that. So I, I, I think I'm going to ignore this is a red herring. I think I'm going to ignore these spices. So I'm looking at the chicken. I may use some veg, but I've got the feeling that it's not a vegetable based dish, like a stew or a curry. So I'm thinking chicken and I'm going towards the beige area, um, which gives me breadcrumbs. I've got bread here. So let's give it a go. Play around with everything and see what happens. Wish me luck. I've eliminated down to the chicken, some veg that I think may be crunchy. Um, breadcrumbs and cheese. So I'll start off with, to, to put a chicken in breadcrumbs, we do need to flatten this out a little bit. So I've got a chicken breast. All I'll do is butterfly that. So we're just gonna cut that down the back and then we give that a good bash because obviously when you're putting chicken in breadcrumbs, it can't be really thick because it won't cook through. So I'm really interested to see how Sarah does today because I feel like it's probably a dish that she's probably never cooked anything quite like before and it could go one of either ways so like I feel like it could either go really really badly and she could cook something totally wrong or she could smash it, I really don't know but hopefully with the clues that I've given her she'll do quite well because I would like a palm oil. <laughs> okay, right. So, I'm thinking we did touch on bread and breadcrumbs. I could blitz this in a food processor, but I have noticed a bit of a cheat. I've got some breadcrumbs here. So, I'll just put this into some bowls, and then we can coat the chicken and get it ready to cook through. But I've then got to work on the wet element of the sauce, so I'll get onto that later. I wanted to get the chicken prepared first. One egg should be enough, I'm just doing the one chicken breast at the moment. Okay. Give that a little whisk. And then lastly, we've got the breadcrumbs. And that, weirdly enough, is kind of his pizza base, a chicken-ish pizza base. So, in we go. Let's get messy with this one. Minutes on each side just to 
make sure the chicken is cooked through. I'm gonna wait for the bread crumb to change colour as well. When they start to go dark in colour, that's when I feel like it's actually getting cooked through. I went to Austria recently and we had schnitzel and it feels a bit like that. This could be veal, it could be pork. Obviously today it's chicken, but it's kind of like a schnitzel escalop kind of thing going on. So let's pop this in the oven. And then to give the sauce some salt. Okay, so the chicken is in the oven. That's given me some time now to think about the sauce element of this. The creaminess of a sauce, I'm thinking because I had eggs, because I've had flour and milk, a kind of a bechamel sauce, which I would normally use for lasagna. I've no idea how this is gonna go with chicken, um, but I'm freestyling the whole way. We're gonna just give it a go. So the base of that kind of sauce would be butter and flour, which I've been given. So. I would just take a large chunk of butter and with this kind of sauce, you just have to see how it goes. There's no exact art to it. So we're gonna melt the butter down and then we add the flour. Once you add the flour, it turns into what's called a roux. So it looks like it's not a sauce. Suddenly the flour will cling to the melted butter and it will look almost dry. That's when I normally start to panic because I then have to get the milk in to turn it back into a sauce. So it's a continual stirring thing. Now what I'm left with is thinking about the topping because Adam did mention that you, there, you can vary the toppings that are on top of here. So I'm thinking about what I would like with cheese um, and basil and cheese are great friends. So I've chopped some basil and I love red onion with cheese as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with just some onion, I don't want to overpower the onion, just a little bit. Then, I've mixed red Leicester and cheddar here. So you've got a variety going on. And they were the two cheeses that were out, so I thought we'll use them both, why not? So on we go here. Oh, it smells good in here. Hello. Hi, how have you been getting on? I'm hoping you're going to tell me shortly. I've just put some onions on top of my sauce, followed by some cheese, and I've just been a bit chefy basil on the top there because I do like basil Lovely. with cheese and it's um, got a bit of crunch from the onion, a bit of flavour from the basil Yeah. and it's the only green thing going on. Yeah, um, I can say it does, it does smell like the place is at home which is a good sign. That's fantastic, so I'm not completely off track. I want you to, are you going to taste it for me? Yeah, yeah, I'll come back and I'll test the final Okay, result. I reckon five minutes and we'll be done. Lovely. Okay, Sounds I'm going to put this under the grill now then. Is that even the grill? So I'm a bit concerned that I just walked in and she's putting onions on the parma. And I can understand why she would do that because I did say like pizza toppings, but by pizza toppings I meant like pepperoni and nice things. Okay, so I'm ready to plate up. I'm hoping I've done this justice. This is a chicken with, I don't know what you call it, chicken with a cheesy sauce with herbs and onions. I would normally serve it with a side salad just because I need some kind of greenery on the plate. So. Just gonna get some simple rocket and there's some tomatoes and peppers and I'm looking forward to seeing Adam's reaction to this. Hi Adam. Hi. Oh that looks good. That's just looking good oh, to me. This is your one. Yeah, so this is the chicken parma that you've made. Chicken parma? Yeah, it's short for parmesan, although there's no parmesan involved. It's okay. Parmesan, so it's a chicken parma. Right. Uh, it looks it looks pretty similar to mine. I must say, um, I'm a bit concerned that you put onions in because I'm not the biggest fan <laughs> of onions. But I can see why you did that with the with the pizza. It was a whole pizza thing. I'm thinking cause in my mind, I'm thinking, well, you have onions and cheese. So I was trying to replicate the whole pizza thing. I, I could have gone a lot more. I'm glad I didn't now because I was tempted to throw so much more on top. So I'm pleased I stopped at the onions yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. You've definitely got the look down. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited to try it. Okay, let's have a go. Can I try yours? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, okay, let's go That's for right. it. I am feeling very tense right now. I'm very nervous. Yeah, you're, you're feeling my nervous. Okay, the, so the chicken's cooked it through. Looks, That's important. It looks cooked to me, yeah. <laughs> right. Maybe do this or do that as your mouth's full. <laughs> It's really good. Obviously, not a fan of onion, so. No, no. Apart from that though, 
the bechamel sauce really smooth, really oh, flavoursome, which is good. So I'm actually quite impressed with the final product. Like, it, it looks like a parma. Like, I identify that as a parma straight away, which is quite impressive. Um, obviously, the onions were a shame, and I really had to stomach them when I was trying it. So that was a bit sad, and I can still kind of taste the onions now, which is not fun. Did, did you put cheese inside the vegetable sauce? I didn't know, and I also didn't put salt in because I couldn't find anyone else making it. So it might be a little bit bland. The no, it's nice. It's just more. Sauce. This to me is more just chicken with cheese. That's how I see this. Yeah. So I think that this is. If that's kind of the basic takeaway dish that you guys are used to, then this is probably preferred because then you could add things afterwards or have mm -hmm. things with it. Yeah. Um, You've kind of made like the gourmet version. I've done, it? yeah, I mean, if you don't like basil, you don't like onion, you're not going to like mine particularly. Yeah. But with yours, if you like chicken and you like cheese, you mm -hmm. want to sort of win it with this one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we've both done really well. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you, Adam, for coming. It's been great Thank to meet you. Thank you for having me. No, I've had a great day. It's been a lot of fun. I'm really pleased to hear that. And I think it was a success today, wasn't you? Definitely, yeah. yeah brilliant. Well. Okay, well, join us next week for a new episode, a new challenge, and a new contestant. And we'll see what